Thank you for joining me today in Talladega College's Save Library as I conduct a webinar that is part of the Talladega College Education Department's Virtual Liberal Arts Center Innovation Grant. That's a mouthful. But this grant was received from UNCF and my webinar today is a follow-up activity to a lesson that I taught my students. The subject of my lesson was ethics, and that subject was chosen by UNCF. How I taught the lesson was chosen by us as part of the grant. In more detail, the challenge of the grant was to provide more engaging lessons for our college students with active learning, technology, critical thinking, problem solving skills, and communication. In this webinar, I will be reflecting on the positives about the lesson that I taught and the improvements that I want to make the next time I teach, whether I teach that lesson again or especially if I teach that lesson again. On February 21st, 2021 was the day of my lesson and I taught about the professional educator ethics. There's nine of them and I taught through the process of lesson study and I used active learning strategies. Prior to planning that lesson, I, along with my other colleagues, had participated in active learning training through some rigorous professional development via AQ, and AQ stands for Association of College and University Educators. While going through the AQ training, I found a familiar teaching strategy that I had used about three decades ago when asked to do a model lesson for a high school history class. My strategy that I found was the cooperative learning strategy of Jigsaw. I felt very affirmed when I saw that the Jigsaw was mentioned in the AQ training, so I decided to beef it up and use it. I had been using Jigsaw in my college classes since I began teaching at Talladega College in 2015. So I chose to try to improve my use of Jigsaw. Now what is a Jigsaw? Think of a puzzle. A Jigsaw strategy, you break apart and then you come back together. It's three, four, three to four different readings or videos and you divide the students into home groups and each person in the home group has a different reading or video to learn about. All students with the same reading or video go to a section of the room to prepare what they're going to say when they come back to teach to their home group. This lasts about 10 to 12 minutes and then the students come back to the home group. Then all the members teach in the home group and that lasts 12 to 15 minutes usually. So that was my the gist of my lesson. The positives about my lesson that I felt were that I used the lesson plan that we ask our students to use and all of the students in the class and all of the participants in the lesson study had a copy of my lesson plan. I feel like it is important to model what we ask the students to do. So if we ask them to write that lesson plan, then I should write that lesson plan, which I did. Some positive takeaways from the collaborative autoethnography, which is the reflections from myself and my colleagues who observe the lessons and the students themselves. We all thought that the students' response to Jigsaw was motivational. They enjoyed it. They felt empowered as they got to teach their home group. The note-taking sheet that I added that I had not done before was effective and kept the students on task when they were in their study groups. I will keep that part of the jigsaw every time I use it now. The topics were of interest to the students. I chose topics for them to read and watch. Like, for instance, uh, they read an article about a teacher who was placed on leave because she was texting another student, uh, texting a student inappropriately. And another reading was about teachers cheating on standardized tests and some actually uh, went to jail. So the topics were of interest. So those are my positives. 
Now, what I'll do when I teach the lesson again, or these are the negatives, you might say. The lesson was too long. I need two days. I need to break it up. More teaching of the ethics standards prior to Jigsaw. Maybe we should have some discussion in class or I should give some background knowledge on the ethics standards. I had done that, but not thoroughly. One activity for one of my study groups was to watch a video and I should have thought to bring headphones because that was a little confusing, a little noisy. I need a clipboard to model taking notes because I walked around to all the groups when they were meeting, but I should have been more focused and purposeful in taking notes because that's what I would want them to do if they were teaching. And I need to ask more critical thinking questions. Mine were mostly on Bloom's lower hierarchy. I need to add a critical thinking question to my exit ticket. An example would be, what could have been done in the lesson to deepen your understanding of the Educator Code of Ethics? Now, as I reflect on doing this webinar, it made me revisit my lesson again, and it's been over a year since I taught it, and really consider what to do differently to improve my teaching. In my classes, I always tell my students that teachers are always learners, even when you're older, like me. I take pride in modeling that belief. Hashtag always a learner.